What's up everybody, Mr. Jiggles here, and we're going to be doing a special series on NBA 2K23, where I take a team in my league and try to build them into a contending championship team in one year. Now, even if they are contending or pretty close to being a championship level team, I'm still going to make those small moves to ensure that they're a championship team. And sometimes we're going to have to redo it in the middle of a video, so we might be going through multiple seasons and trying to make sure we make the right moves. Anyway, let's get to it. For today's video, we're going to be selecting the New York Knicks. Yeah, the Knicks have had a tough sequence of events. I feel like they've been have had a, had a couple rosters where their team was fairly decent. I mean, majority of my success, well, majority of the success for me with the Knicks was when they had Carmelo and, um, yeah, they just, I feel like, just never gotten over the top in the past 10, 15 years. So we're going to try to make that happen today. And if you are a Knicks fan, don't get mad at me. I am just a Detroit Pistons fan, surrounded in my own ignorance. So bear with me there. So let's go check out the roster. So what do we have here? RJ Barrett, who's 22 with an 84 overall. Fairly well-rounded game. Probably his shooting needs a little bit of improvement. Physical, 6'6", shooting guard, fairly intelligent, high potential. They, The Knicks had just acquired Jalen Brunson. I'm not so sure about this one. I mean, he played pretty well next to Luka, and maybe that's what the Knicks are hoping for. And he, is uh, Brunson having a solid year next to R.J. Barrett. Uh, next, you have Julius Randle. I'm pretty high on Randle. Um, I had been quoted to say that I thought Randall would be the MVP if the Knicks had a successful season. And, well, you know, most improved player, I think, is the same level. I think it's the same. Mitchell Robinson, who they just brought back. Uh, Derek Rose quickly. Fournier Toppin. Cam Reddish. No idea what's going on here. Um, Hartenstein, Quentin Grimes. Justin Jackson. Meh. Miles McBride, I like Deuce. I think he's solid. Uh, Jericho Sims, a lot of people are really high on him. I'm pretty high on him. I was wishing that the Pistons would have got him a year ago. Trevor Keels, I like Trevor Keels. Solid for Duke. Uh, Farron Hunt, I have no idea who that is. And we're going to be moving on. So, essentially, I want to be taking RJ Bear and try to get another piece next to him. I could probably move on with Mitchell Robinson and just fill in Jericho Samus, maybe get another backup, maybe a hard sign, I don't know. Borneo can go. Um, and maybe Brunson as well, even though they just acquired him. But we can see what's going on. Let's just throw Brunson in the trade windmill and see what we can get out of this. So yeah, Steven Adams and a backup point guard and a first round pick from the Knicks. That's top ten protected. I don't know. I'm not I don't know about that one. Bogdan Bogdanovich would be interesting, but um, Clint Capella, that'd be decent. I mean, Obi's not really used too much. I mean, he's 24, coming up on a contract year. He's not starting for you, so maybe that would be a better option here. Maybe move uh, Barrett to the point guard position. Russell Westbrook and Lonnie Walker. Imagine. I think people would freak out on YouTube if I traded <laughs> Brunson for Westbrook. Michael Porter Jr. Yeah, I don't understand what Denver on 2K is doing. Um, that'd be interesting to have Porter Jr. And maybe he could make a turnaround here. And you're only giving up Brunson in a second round pick. So maybe we're going to read, come back to this and try that out. All right, we're going to go with the Denver Nuggets here and get, one, my, get Michael Porter Jr. on the team. Get some more scoring. Give up a second-round pick. Can't charge. No idea. Anyways, moving on. Make this trade. Let's go. Okay. So next spot, we need to get a guard here. Derrick Rose. Probably not going to happen here. No way Murray gets traded. Are you kidding me? Buddy healed. Miles Turner. Bro, this team would be stacked. <laughs> Um, you know what? I'm for, I'm for stacking it. Let's go. All right. Now we have kind of a stacked 
lineup here. Really, RJ's a small forward. I'm moving the guard. Um, we got John Wall and Luke Kennard. Mm. Dinwiddie and bring back Nikki Latina. Give up a second round pick. We're going all in. That's what we're going to do. That's it. Boom. Right there. Let's look at our roster. What we got going on here? Dinwiddie quickly. McBride. Buddy Heald. Quentin Grimes. RJ is going to be our shooting guard. Buddy Heald's a backup. Probably six, man. I think it's pretty good. We're kind of minus on a uh, try Justin Jackson and Conchar for a backup power forward. And I think we're pretty good there. Uh, maybe we can... Uh, I guess Royce O'Neal's okay. Make that trade. Boom. Okay. That's an interesting five. You got RJ, Randall, Turner, P Michael Porter, and Dinwiddie. Buddy healed your six man quickly. Cam Reddish, O'Neal, and uh, Jericho Sims as your backup big. I think it's pretty good. I don't know, man. Let's see what we can do. All right, so we just finished the season. We just finished over 500 or at 500, which isn't great. Not a contending team is going to be 500 unless they're trying to upset a bunch of people. Luca became the Blah, 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 your MVP here. And here we are at the playoffs. Okay, we are the ninth seed here. And let's see what happens, people. We won. We made it for the first round of the play-in. Can we make it through the second round and beat Cleveland? Surprisingly. And we won. Wow. Okay, we beat the second play in team. Now we're playing the number one overall seed, Chicago. Can we make the dream happen? Simulate round. We've been eliminated. Three out, four out. Yikes. Okay. Well, that was a good try. All right, we back. And instead of the, so instead this time of picking players that we would be suggested via 2k we're gonna try going after players okay so we got mitchell robinson and two second round picks for jonathan isaac and mo wagner i think that's the littlest smallest we have to give up for jonathan isaac we're gonna make that trade Okay, so this is kind of broken, but I'm gonna go for it anyway. Just for the sake of this video, we're gonna get we're gonna get Jamal Murray and Porter Jr. for Julius Randle and Jalen Brunson. That's actually ridiculous. Okay, um, that's yeah, I'm I'm good with that. So we get Bobby Portis. He's gonna be our starting center. Get Joe Ingles as a backup small forward. I like that because then quickly comes off the bench with Joe Ingles and uh, Fournier. I think that's good. We're in. And then let's see how that goes. So we're going to start at five. Jamal Murray, RJ Barrett, Porter, Jonathan Isaac, and Portis at center. And then Fournier at quickly, Cam Reddish, Obi Toppin, Wagner are the bench unit. Let's go see what happens here. So there, there we have it. We have a PI. What does PI mean? Oh, the tie for the play in here with 43 and 39 we went. Uh we were pretty decent on the home on home and at home. 24 and 17 at home, 19 and 22 on the road. Just didn't win a lot of those road games. Point differential 0. 0.7, really. So we're not blowing teams out. So here's what our how our team performed. Jamal Murray got injured. He has a sprained left toe. Uh, but Barrett finished with 24 points. Let's see, six rebounds, four assists. 
Shot 52% from the field, almost 40% from three, and almost, he was 78% from the free throw line. Not a lot of free throws, interestingly. Jamal Murray had 21 points per game, three rebounds, six assists, 1.4 steals, kind of high amount of turnovers, almost three per game, shot 53% from the field, 41% from almost 42% from three, and 83% from the line. And we had Michael Porter with 15.3 points per game. Seven rebounds, almost two steals a game, shot 48% from the field, almost 40% from three, and 75% from the free throw line. And Bobby Porter's with 13, nine, and almost two assists. And then quickly came out the bench with 9.5. Jonathan Isaac had 9.5, underperformed. Right here, Jonathan Isaac, our starting power forward, underperformed here. Um, Fournier had eight off the bench. Not great. A decent, decent bench here, I guess. Anyway, we're going to move on. See what we can do in the plan and see what happens here. We were eliminated in the plan. Didn't even get past the plan. So that's a worse. We're trending worse than we did last year. So we're going to try it again. Okay, so this time, um, maybe we keep Brunson and Randall and move RJ. Like, maybe that's the move. Let's do a trade finder for RJ and see what we can get out of this. We can get Drew Holiday, Alonzo. Uh, hmm. Interesting. Paul George. All right, we're going to go for Lonzo and Patrick Williams right here. So we got Lonzo. Maybe we make a move to trade Brunson. Uh, maybe not. I don't know. We need a shooting. We need a shooting guard. No, we need a forward. Okay. Let's try to... I'm going to put Patrick Williams at the port forward. Uh, should we trade quickly? Um, Go to my my favorite team, Hamadou. I wouldn't... Actually, I wouldn't mind Hamadou going to the Knicks. I don't know if, how, if you blow up or not. Um, yeah, we're going to do Hamadou. Make that trade. Kind of messes up. Pistons, but it's all right. Don't worry about it. It's not my problem right now. Wait, are you drunk? Hold on. This is kind of broken. <laughs> I'm going to do that. I think it's cheating, but whatever, dude. Who cares? It's 2K. Like, what do you expect, bro? You expect this to be fair? Get Bam and Duncan Robinson? Yeah, I'm making that trade. There you go. Um, bye bye Brunson. Let's see if we can get Dylan Brooks. Let's get Dylan Brooks. Alright, what does a roster look like right now? We got Lonzo Tyus Jones. Quickly. We got a lot of point guards. Sure. 33 minutes apiece. Sign me up. Sims. Diallo, Reddish, Quickly, Patrick Williams. I feel like that bench unit doesn't have a lot of scoring, but it's fine. Or a lot of shooting, I should probably say. Maybe Obi can be our bench unit guy. I think Patrick Williams would be better here. Let's do that. Okay. Let's get this season started. All right, so we just finished up the season, and this is the worst season so far. 31-51. and 51. Uh, Started off really bad. Um, our point difference, we're losing by five points per game. 
Um, we were two and eight in the last 10, which didn't help, but we had a terrible start. I think we were like four and I don't know, 20 in the first 25 games, 24 games. So yeah, it didn't work out well. We're going to check out the stats and see what happened, what went wrong. Um, player stats. We had Bam averaging 23 points per game. Dylan Brooks at 19.6. Lonzo got injured. He was only averaging 13 points per game. Quickly had a good bench. Decent bench play here. Um, Tyus Jones was playing. I, I forgot he was even on the team. That might be a, a downfall aspect. Yeah, we had started. <laughs> uh, that, maybe that was a bad idea, starting Patrick Williams. Because OB played better. And um, yeah, not much else going on here. And yeah, so that was bad. Uh, try again. All right, so fresh start once again. Uh, I think we're going to make try to make a big move for a superstar caliber player. Um, I think that's the way we have to take this team and see who we can try to steal. Okay, so we can get Cam. Oh, so we're trading Cam Reddish and Quentin Grimes for Cam Johnson from the Suns and Damian Lee. A lot of these trades are gonna just gonna be absolutely terrible for one side or the other. But we're trying to make the best team here. That's the whole point. Um, let's see. Yeah, Cam Johnson's not a you know superstar caliber player. Just bear with me here. Wow. Okay, so we're gonna trade Mitchell Robinson, Derek Rose, and Hartstein. Is that it? Nah, I like this better. Obi Top and Derek Rose Fournier for Clay Thompson and Moody. Okay, this might not be bad. So we got Brunson quickly backing it up. You have Clay Thompson, Damian Lee, RJ Barrett, Moody, Randall, Cam Johnson. It's pretty good. And Mitchell Robinson, Hartenstein, and Sims. Okay, let's uh, set up a game plan here. All right, so we got a starting unit. Brunson, Thompson, Barrett, Randall, Mitchell Robinson. Six man, Cam Johnson, quickly. Damian Lee and Hardenstein with some scrap minutes that I have left over. And let's see how this does. Hopefully it's better than last time. We managed to make the plan. <laughs> we went 37-45, which is not good. Um weight differential 1.4. So a lot worse than before. Um we are still in the plan though, so there's still hope. So we're gonna get to that. And see what happens here. Let's do the simulate the plan. And we've been eliminated. Nice. Okay. Looks like we gotta redo this thing again. Okay. So maybe RJ is key here. Let's try to get rid of Brunson and see what happens. You know what? I'm gonna do something really unexpected here. We're gonna get Russ on the team. Next fans go wild in the comments. All right. Next move we're going to make here is we're going to find, we're going to trade quickly and Derek Rose and try to get some shooting. Okay, Bones Highland, KCP. I'm with that. Um, is there any person we want to go after directly, probably, and see what happens? Sure. All right, this is getting chaotic fast. Let's do it. Okay, dude. Okay, what do we got here? So we got RJ Westbrook. We're going to move Paul George to a shooting guard. I think he's better fit a shooting guard. It's going to be a reunion of the Thunder earlier a couple years ago. I'm for that. Let's do Caleb and Max Shrews. That's like gets our bench a little bit better. Okay, so let's see. We got Russ in a, a Knicks uniform. People are going wild, right? Bones Highland, Deuce McBride, Paul George, a shooting guard. We'll call Boat backing him up. Barrett at small board, Strews. Obi Toppins are starting power forward with Caleb Martin coming off the bench. Hartenstein, Moses Brown, Jericho Sims. And uh, yeah, that's uh, that's it. That's the beef right there. There we go. So split minutes at center and see what happens. Not even like stressed about it. What? He's got 20. 
I wonder. Okay. Give him. There we go. Your starter, so that's cool. And and just give you twenty nine. Good. All right. Cool, man. See how this uh, season's gonna go. All right, so we just finished up the season, and <laughs> we're forty two and forty, even after acquiring. Paul, George, and Russ. We have returned back to base camp. This has been chalked. Um, let's check out our stats here. Player stats. Paul, George averaged 25.6. RJ with 18.4. Russ had 13.5. Yikers. Yeah, we need a little more balanced scoring from our starting unit, and it seemed like even playing more minutes, torn calf meniscus, Jesus. Um, even playing them more minutes, it's not like they perform better, and like our bench is still solid no matter what, just playing 15 minutes. So I think we need two stars, maybe. Why don't we just get Paul George and uh that's it. Is it possible? I don't know. Anyways, let's see how we do in the playoffs. Can play off P get us into the actual playoffs? We're going to simulate through the game, and we've been eliminated. Yikes. Ah, I got to start over again. I mean, this is a good test. This is a good test of basketball knowledge and figuring out how to make things work. I like it. It's interesting. Auto generate. All right, we're going to start off looking. Let's let's look for a player here. Maybe we can formulate around Brunson and Barrett and Randall. But what would that look like? Do we, what do we need? Do we need a scoring guard here? Probably would work out. I feel like that work out pretty well. Uh maybe we go after Terry Rozier. See what we have to give up. Evan Forney in a first round pick. Uh, RJ, no. Don't want to give up Mitchell Robinson. Yeah, we're going to have to give up a first round pick in Fournier. That's fine, though. Not a big deal. Um, all right, we're going to trade for Burke Lopez. That's not bad. And then we have Mitchell Robinson to back him up. i get rid of Hardenstein. See what we can get out of this. Grayson Allen would be good. Good backup shooting guard. Sure. Let's do that. We're going to go 38s across the board up here. Rozier, Brunson, Barrett, Randall, Lopez. Quickly off the bench, Mitchell Robinson. Grayson Allen's not getting a lot of minutes. There we go. 10 apiece. 38, 10 apiece for the bench unit. Let's rock it. So the league standings for this one, we finished 36 and 46. It's not going good. I don't know what we got to do. Minus three differential, minus 2.7. Not good. I think we're still in the play-in. Um, player stats, RJ at the top, Julius, Brunson, not averaging great numbers, but split between Rozier and Brunson, averaged basically 16 apiece. Brooke Lopez only averaged 10. I don't know if they, because I made CPU automate, um just didn't look like he performed that well um i have some thoughts on what to do with this roster after the season and we're gonna see what happens i got a, i got an idea um anyway we're gonna do the play in we're playing miami so assuming that game and we've been eliminated back to the drawing board we go okay so the front office trade finder we're gonna try to get um Bam here. And we can get Bam because I've seen it done before. So we can trade Julius Randle or Jalen Brunson and Derrick Rose. Um, but before we do that, I'm going to try to get somebody else really quick. Let's try that. Okay. 
make that trade, and then we're going to try to trade for Bam, Brunson, Derrick Rose. Yep, that's going to be it. Brunson, Derrick Rose second. Okay. Okay, now we have a wonderful lineup of we're moving Paul George to shooting guard again. Actually, keep changes return. We're going to move RJ to shooting guard. Changes, and we need a... We have John Wall, we have Quickly, Obi Toppin, Duncan Robinson. What else do we have? That's pretty good. I think that's it. That's all we need right there. I'm good with that lineup. <clears throat> I might make um, Duncan Robinson six man and see what happens from there. Toppins are power forward. Yeah, I'm okay. Okay with that. This is it. This is the run. Please. Amazing. Come on, baby. God. Um. We're gonna we gotta do this manually. We can't risk. We can't risk it. Um. Bernstein. You can't risk messing up this run it's too perfect no no else it's on fire too 41 and 32 we gotta make this come on oh my god oh my god yes win Win! Yes! All right, so we finished actually in the top six of the East. Boom, what's up? 46 and 36. All right. You need to hire me the next? Do you need to hire me? Your boy made it. We made it to like four wins above uh, what we were doing before. We don't need, we're not even to play it, bro. Not even to play it, dude. This is a win. This, um, whatever happens, this is the last run. Okay, we're reached. We've it take has taken like an hour and thirty minutes, and I took like a significant break in the middle of it. So, it took an hour and thirty minutes. Okay, and that's all it took. So let's look at our player stats. Paul George at twenty two points per game. Bam with twenty one, seventeen, sixteen, twelve point six. Um, Duncan Robinson stunk it up, so that was a major mistake. Um, <laughs> quickly was our best six man with Cam Reddish. Quentin Grimes actually popped off as a six man. Oh my god, Some things you don't understand. Mitch Robinson didn't average that great off the bench. Ah, uh, okay. I don't, I don't know how we did it, but we, we made it, boys. We made it. I mean, PG was shooting 40% from the field from eight, eight attempts. John Wall was averaging six attempts. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh, my God, bro. Damn, dude. Okay, dude. Bounce back year. Crazy. What a, what a big three. What a big three. And then RJ's here. I mean, big four. Not a big four. Well, okay. Anyway, man, we are we made it. Okay, we made it. We're in we're deep. You know what I'm saying? Let's uh simulate this game. Okay. Atlanta and Miami's in the plan. Simulate plan. And here we go. Here are the playoffs. We are matched up against Boston, the third seed. Can we do it? Let's simulate a game. Sim I don't wanna I don't wanna <laughs> Um Simulate with SimCast? Sure. Wait. Simulate game. Fourth quarter. Looking like we're going to lose. Can we catch up? Down six. No. Down 11. No. Lost by seven. Okay. First game. Game goes to Boston. Go with SimCast again. We're going to go fast to speed. 
simulate game. Four minutes left. Down one. We go up. We go down. Back and forth. We go up huge. We're going to get a win. Boom. Second game. Let's go. On the road. Big wins. This is huge. Going to Simcast again. Simulate game. Second quarter, third quarter, fourth quarter. Nine minutes left. We're down 10. This is not looking good. We're the home team too. We're losing at home. No, bro. No. Can we catch up the miracle? No. Lost by nine at home. <laughs> Yikes. Simcast. Simulate game. Second half over, third quarter. We're up big. We're big at home. This is a redemption game for us. Got the lead, 10 point lead. They're catching up. Up three, eight minutes. Catching up, they got the lead. Back and forth here. No, we're scoring. We're up two, we're up two. Oh, what's happening? What's happening? We're up six. How? Oh, we won, up four. One by four, oh my God. Tied series. This is insane. Okay, dude. I don't even know what's going on, bro. First half down. Boom. Okay. Third quarter. Okay, we're down six. What's going on? All right, let's go to medium. Okay, down four. Down two. Down four. Down three. Tie game. Up one, up two, back and forth. We're going. This is an insane series, bro. This is insane. 96. No, they're increasing the lead. We got to score. Yes, we did score. Down six. No, on the road. No, we're losing. Down six. No, down. No. Oh, my God. We lost by nine points, dude. Their Boston's up three two. We have to we have to win this game. We have to. Okay, we're up ten. We're up huge. This is our game. We're at home. We're this is a blowout. This is a big time blowout. Boom. We finished. We scored twenty seven more points. Holy smokes. Bam had a huge game, 35 points, insane. All George, Obi Toppin, everybody scored. Wait, what? Huge, tied the series. We tied the series here, people. This is what we're doing. We're making magic happen. Final game, game seven, simul cast. Let's do it. Simulate the game. Go to the second half. <laughs> We're up. We're up 10. Oops. Spoilers. Can we can we hold on the lead? Three minutes left. We're going. We're up 10. We're up seven. We're up 10 again. Come on. We're up seven. Oh my god. We won. <laughs> we won the game seven, dude. Against Boston. Paul George Pete. You know what? Give PG his due, dude. Give PG his due. 46 points. Playoff P, baby. The meme's over. It's over. Huge. Absolutely massive. Almost 50 points in a game seven. Four points away from a 50-point game. Beast. Bam, a 28 and 10. Nothing else. Just Paul George. The Knicks... <laughs> Knicks fans going crazy because <laughs> PG playoff P drop 46 to take them into deeper into the playoffs. Absolutely insane. Absolutely insane. Now we play Brooklyn. Interesting. Hopefully it like doesn't simulate. Okay, we're good. It's a tough matchup here. We're going to do the simulcast. We're going to do the same thing. Fast forward to the second quarter.
quarter or the second half. Oh my God, slow down. Okay, third quarter. Close battle here. Going up by three, up by three again. Nets take the lead. Nets are up by three. Up by two, up by three. Going to the fourth quarter. Up by two, tie game. Knicks take the lead. Knicks up by four. Got four point lead again. Two point lead. Five point lead. Up, tie game with three minutes left. Nets take the lead. Tie game again. Knicks take the lead. 40, 30 seconds left. Four point lead. Game over. Knicks have a huge fourth quarter, 27 to 20 in the fourth. And boom, led by no other than Playoff P. You would have never thought this would have happened. Playoff P and Bam carrying the team. Sean Wall contributing good. Bear as well. Interesting. Interesting. 1 0. Knicks over Brooklyn. My girlfriend would be freaking out right now because she's a huge Nets fan. Well, Kevin Durant. But anyway. Simulcast the next round here, simulating to the second half, and now we're gone. Slow down a little bit. Okay. So we got a huge lead here, up 20, not looking good. Next, or the Nets had a terrible second quarter. We're up like 20 points right now. Don't know if the Nets have it in them to come back in the fourth. It's looking like a blowout here. Anything's possible. Anything's possible and it's over. They lost by 13. They had a big fourth quarter, but it was not enough because they only scored 17 in the second. That's rough. And Bam had a big game, 31 points, 10 rebounds, 7 assists. RJP, Playoff P are still playing their best playoff series. 2-0 against the Nets here. We think it's sweep. What's happening? Um, simulate game. Moving on to the second half. Second half here is upon us. The Knicks are up. We're up 10 points. 8 points. Third quarter. Nets are catching up here. Tie the game. Switching off. Going to be a tough fourth quarter here. Up five points in the fourth. Increasing the lead. Up ten. Oh, oh. Nets are moving on. Up to catch up. Tie game. Nets take the lead with one minute left. Knicks take the lead. Game over. By two points. Bam with 33 and 16 and 8. Where's Paul George? Two biggest pickups we have here. Doing the most for the Knicks right now. And they're up 3-0 in the series of the Nets. Knicks, Nets series. This would be insanity if I was saying this live. Moving on to the... Could be the final game here. Unless the Nets could turn it around and make this a series. So we're going to fast forward into the third quarter. And the Knicks are blowing out the Nets. This is not good. Nets fans everywhere. Down bad. Moving to the fourth quarter. We're up by 30. I think this is going to be a wrap, people. Tip, give less minutes to Duncan Robinson. More minutes to Mitchell Robinson. Give more minutes to Isaiah Hartenstein. I'm sorry. But I'm leading the franchise here. And it looks like the Nets are going... The Knicks are going to move... On R.J. Barrett, Knicks blast by the Nets in a big time win, 30 points. Not much going on here. Just well spread ball movement. 20, 15, 15, 15, 14, 13. Bench got a lot of points. Boom. We did it. That's all you need to do. We're moving on. Well, the Knicks are moving on into the second. We're going to the finals, baby. We're going we're in the Eastern Finals. Okay. And we're playing Cleveland, who's the number one seed. <sighs> wow. Take this in. This is special. This is something special. 
we're still under two hours. So we're going to simulcast. Same thing. Fast forward to the second half. And we're here going fast. We're up. The Knicks are up 10 ish. Blowing out Cleveland. This is something different, folks. I'm telling you right now. I'm telling you, this is crazy. Up 10. This could be a could be a victory here. Just increasing the lead. Just continually scoring. I don't think the Cavs are gonna catch up. In the final minute, up 15, up 14. And the final 15 point lead took care of business indeed the knicks beat the Cavs on the road paul george playoff p nothing other than playoff p scoring 42 bam with 32 this is insane <laughs> it's insane dang dude one zero the series let's move on to the second game third quarter knicks are up Steadily, handily, eight points going into the fourth quarter. Cavs are coming back, though, making it more competitive. Closer game. Knicks still in the lead. Cavs take the lead for the first time in the game. Knicks go up. They're going up five, seven, ten. Oh, my Lord. This team is ferocious. We're down to the two-minute mark, one minute, and it looks like the Knicks are taking the win here. By a 13 point margin. Paul George, once again, playoff P, redemption year. RJ, second leading scorer, interesting. Bam out of bio, 20 points apiece, all of them. John Wall surprisingly scores 19 as well. Solid pickups. We're up 2 0. We're up 2 0 in the Eastern Conference Finals here. This is interesting. Going to the third game here. Do the Cavs have it in them to come back and make the series competitive? Or does this next team steamroll through this whole Eastern Conference? Let's move it on here. Fast forward to the second half, third quarter. And the Cavs are actually up. Wow, surprising. Can the Knicks come back in the final and the third quarter? They do come back. They may take the lead. And they're passing it back and forth. Third quarter, Cavs go up. Knicks are coming back. Knicks are coming back. Come on, come on. Come on, dude. We're back. We're back. No. 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 <laughs> the Cavs. No, dude. No, they scored. They won, bro. No. Dude, Paul George had a... T not even a bad game. He shot 50%. We're... Bam had a terrible game. No. Nick shot terrible from three. No, it's a 2-1 series. No, dude. Oh. Okay. My bad. We're getting blown out. The Knicks are getting blown out. They're coming back just because I slowed it down. Okay, what's going on? I don't know if it's going to happen. I score a lot of points fairly quick. They keep scoring. Need defensive stops. Down 12. Down. Oh, this isn't looking good. No. No. Okay, dude. We lost by 14. Series is tied 2 to the unthinkable. Game 5 here or the Knicks are away at Cleveland let's get it started the fast forward the second half okay Knicks are up 20 so we got that going on right now this huge road game right here Cavs are trying to come back down 14, 15, 16. We might have it here. Just got to keep scoring, doing well. Entering the fourth quarter. Cavs down 16. Oh, they're catching up. Uh oh, they're on a run. 
Down three, Cavs taking the lead. What's going on? The Knicks only scored four points in the quarter in four minutes. Knicks take the lead. Cavs take the lead. Now we're going freaking slower, dude. Okay, tie game. One minute left. Cavs take the lead. They're up five. No. <laughs> oh, God. Dude, it's going too fast. Oh, my God. God. Playoff P goes back, bro. They had a terrible fourth quarter. No, dude. No. Career high. There is Garland. Jesus. No. I refuse. Oh my god. I can't handle this. Oh my god, bro. Okay, down 10, make it a better game. Come on. Oh, no, my will's breaking. Please, just come back, dude. Five point, three point game. Come back. Oh, my. We're in the lead. Up six. What? The unthinkable. What's going on? Slowest. Go slower, dude. Up three. Up two. Four. Oh my god, I can't. I can't do this right now. Freaking out. Up five. Up four points. Up two. Oh no, they're scoring. Jesus, what's happening? Oh no, tie game. We're up two. Seven minutes. Tie game now. The cash are up one. They're up three now. We need a three. No, we're up one. No, I think they scored three. No, dude. They're up six. Up four, okay. This is possible. Up two. Anything's possible. Tie game. Oh my god, down to the wire. Can we go slower than slowest? No. No, can't score to three. Come on, dude. Come on, X. No. No. <laughs> no. Dude. No. No, dude, what happened? No. <laughs> Walt George had 17. Dude, Bam had seven points. What happened? Oh, my God. Closest we could have ever gotten. That was it, man. That was it. That was a good game. I wish I could have watched it live. That would have been insane. <clears throat> well, there you have it. Cleveland won 4-2. Beat the Knicks. That was the best we've done so far. The furthest we went, we went all the way to the Eastern Conference Finals. And then it's the Lakers-Cavs Finals. How pathetic. I hate it. I'm sour. I'm sick. Get me out of here. Simulate the playoffs. Cavs won the championship. Ironic. They beat LeBron to win the championship. Embarrassing. Donovan Mitchell. Absolute animal. 36 points per game. Domination. Oh, wow. Wow. At least we lost to the champs. I mean, that's, that's something. Well, well, well. Well, there you have it, folks. It only took me about two hours to build this Knicks team into a contender. Would have been interesting if we made the finals, but drop the uh, Eastern Conference Finals 4-2 or 2-4 to four against the Cavs. But at least we did it. We took this team from a gramble scramble of talent and made it into the playoffs, deep into the playoffs. So that I've accomplished my goal. I've done all I can do. So I hope you enjoyed the video. Leave a like on this video. If you enjoyed this video and want to see more in this series, and subscribe, obviously, for more. Leave some comments below. Could I have done anything better? What do you think? Did you have a blast? Anyway, I'll catch you on the next video. See you then. Goodbye.